What's going on, YouTube peoples? I feel like I have not been on here in like a super long time. It's been like a week since I posted, which is crazy. The weather's been crazy. We had a couple storms come through, had some 60 mile an hour winds. All the water's muddy right now. So I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do in this video, but I know that I have to get something out there for you guys to watch. So we're going to see what we can get going today. Sorry I haven't been posting. Hopefully we can get back on that weekly two uploads at least. Uh, I like to get out three, but if we can get out two a week, I'll be happy, especially because it's so cold. These fish are not wanting to cooperate, but we're going to do what we can. So let's go ahead and figure out what we're going to do today in today's video. This is actually my project that I've been working on. <clears throat> this is actually torn apart right now. There is no transom in this boat. The motor is off right here. You guys have actually never seen this boat. This is a 1978. This is an antique. So I've been actually trying to work on this, try to get it back to where it's in running condition. So if you guys want to see anything like that, any of this boat type stuff, I'll be sure to do that in a video. We'll do that for a different video. But I just thought I'd go ahead and show you guys that, see if you'd be interested in watching a video like that. But I am going to be redoing this. And I also have a couple other smaller boats. I've got one way over there that I got to work on and do some stuff like that too. But also I was just looking over here and this right here just caught my eye. It's that homemade reel video and you like wherever I create stuff. So what if we take some of this stuff and try to make something that we can catch fish with? I'm thinking maybe use this bad boy right here as a fishing rod, tie some line on the end. Mike can actually make our line out of this string. And we also have some netting material right here. So maybe we can make a little net or something. Let's see, let's see what we can uh, find right here. Okay, so I checked this out, and it's actually going to work like a reel, I'm pretty sure. So what I'm thinking is we take this, and then we can put it on one of these pieces of pipe and use this like a fishing rod because these are kind of flexible. So what if we did that, ran the line through this pipe, out the end, and turned it into a fishing rod? That could work. Let's see what we can get going. All right, I just cut these ends for the string, whatever this is even for. And now I'm going to try to get these off of my hands. These are actually just some wing nuts you can sell right here. Just some wing nuts and I can get those off. And then it should, in theory, come off of this whole pipe. And then I should be able to mount this onto one of these pieces of black pipe. Let's go ahead and get these nuts off. Okay, we've got our reel taken off. It actually looks like it's going to work out like perfectly. But now we need to pick out which pipe we want. I'm thinking probably the longest one, which is going to be this one. So let's take this and our reel in here to the shop and let's get to work. Okay, so this thing is like a tangled up mess. Like the string will not come off. So I'm going to go ahead, get all this string untangled. But I'm going to keep it all in one piece, hopefully, so that way we can make some line out of it. But I'm going to go ahead and get it untangled, and I'll get back with you guys. And we'll uh, see about mounting this thing on here. All right, we got our line off. It's like a little bit messed up in the middle, but I think I can fix it. And then we've got our reel right here. And it's actually got this little, uh, I don't even know what you would call this. It's like a little catch type piece, but I think I'm actually going to take that off and uh, we're gonna take that off. But as far as the handle and everything goes, it's turning just like a reel. I just think it needs to be lubed up a little bit. It's a little rusted from being outside, but other than that, I think this bad boy right here is gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get to cleaning this thing off and we're gonna go ahead and take this piece off and then we'll worry about the rod. First, we're gonna try the screwdriver and the hammer Brute force, instead of cutting, we're gonna see if we can bust this thing off. Bingo. There's that piece, gone. So now we've got just our reel. Go ahead, get some WD-40 on this bad boy. Get her rolling like new again. Okay, there we go. And WD-40. Built in straw, and we are going to soak her. 
Yes, sir. All right, we're gonna let that sit for a couple seconds. Then we're gonna see how well this thing will work. All right, this thing now is like so smooth. Like, it's so smooth. So much better than the last homemade reel. So I'm gonna go ahead, try to get a little bit more of this rust and stuff off. Just clean it up, make it look real purdy. And uh, I might take this screw out. I'm not really sure. I haven't really made up my mind. I don't know what this is for. Uh, you can actually see right here, there's this screw. I'm not really sure what that's for, but I don't know. I might leave it in there, might take it out. But anyways, it's looking pretty good. And after I get this cleaned up, I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, get to mounting this thing on the fishing rod. Another thing that really needs to happen is I think that this handle needs to be bent because it's actually not like straight out like it should be. So I'm gonna take a pair of pliers and I'm gonna try to bend this piece out so that way it's more like a reel. Grab our pliers and we're just gonna take this piece and hopefully bend it out straight. That's not bad right there. That might have actually been too much. You could bend it back just a little bit. But as you can tell, that right there, that's pretty straight. So it is, uh, it's gonna work. It's gonna work for us. All right, the reel is basically done. Now we have got to worry about using this black piece of pipe. I have no idea what it goes to, but we're going to use this black piece of pipe, make a fishing rod. All right, first things first, gotta clean this bad boy off. It's supposed to be black. So we're gonna clean her off. That way we have a beautiful functioning reel. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy cleaned off. Just take this rag that we were using with the WD-40 and I'm just gonna wipe down this rod. There we go, black. Okay, you guys aren't gonna be able to see this, but I'm actually going to make sure that this rod is laid out how I want it. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of room. Okay, that's fine. Leave a little bit of room for my hand down there. I'm gonna go ahead and mark both of these holes, this one and this one. And then we're gonna go ahead, drill two holes and find some bolts that we can use to tighten this reel down onto this rod. Okay, now we have to find some bolts. We gotta go through this maze of clutter. We've got a lot of different stuff in these cabinets, but I have to find the perfect one. So we have to find the best possible thing for our beautiful creation. Hmm. Okay, so I was searching and I actually found these little bolts. They're flat, so that way it'll look really good. It doesn't actually fit through the hole perfectly, so I gotta drill these out a little tiny bit. But I think that these are the keepers because we've got nuts and bolts right here. So we're gonna go ahead and take these over here, get these holes drilled, and go ahead and assemble this thing. All right, I've got the perfect drill bit. That was a fail. Got another bolt, but I've got the perfect drill bit right here. Should work perfectly. So we're gonna go ahead and drill these holes. Hopefully get these things to work. I didn't even think about these not being able to go through all the way. It looks great up here, but it doesn't go through. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a bigger hole here so that way I can fit this nut. And we're gonna see if we can do that because I really wanna use this, especially since I went through the trouble of getting it and then drilling these holes and everything. So we're gonna try that now. We're gonna drill a bigger hole in the backside, see if that will work. Okay, so I got it mounted on here. I'm actually gonna explain a little bit of what I did because I didn't get it on video. It's hard to do this by yourself, people, so I'm trying. But anyways, drill a hole here, drill a hole here. You can see those two nuts. And it's actually kind of nice because you can actually put your fingers right there, so it's kind of like a grip. So I think it also looks cleaner. It looks pretty good from up here and it's not gonna get in the way of my spool. Uh, so I think it looks pretty good. All I had to use was use the pocket knife. Use this ratchet with a socket to fit the nut. Uh, used drill bit and this drill bit and the Dewalt, the big monster. But anyways, we are gonna go ahead and drill a hole here in the rod and I'm gonna cut this a little bit shorter. Uh, I don't like how long this is, so I'm gonna cut this a little bit shorter and we're gonna make a hole right here. That way my line can actually run through this tubing and come out of the end. So we're gonna go ahead and get to that. 
Good to go. All right, so I drilled a hole here, drilled a hole here, and then I just cut in between the two of them. And then our line is gonna run from our reel into here and out of the end. Should work perfectly. Go ahead, snip it off. Perfect. All right, I think we are done. Everything looks pretty good. We've got to figure out some sort of line though. I do have this string, but I feel like it's way too thick. So I might try to like break it down, but then I feel like the strands are gonna be too small. So I'm not really sure. We can technically go get some line, but kinda wanna use this. Okay, so I just unraveled it. There's actually three strands. So I think I'm just gonna use one of these strands. All right, I've got my line all strung up. It's not super thick, but it's not super thin either. But I think it should work. I'm gonna go ahead and get spooled up on the rod right here, and we're gonna see if this baby will cast. All right, I've got it all stringed up. I'm actually gonna cut my leader line off of this setup, which if you guys have not seen this already, go check this out. This is my homemade wood reel. I am gonna do another one of these, so go ahead and check this out if you guys like this video. But I'm gonna go ahead, cut this leader off, and we're gonna get it tied on our homemade rod right here. All right, here's the finished product. Actually, that little piece I knocked out makes for a great hook holder. So now we're going to cue the dope. Maybe, maybe. Cue the dope B-roll. to destination one there's been some big bass and some brim over here I see some brim so this should be easy and they're probably gonna just smoke it I'm hoping they're sitting underneath of it one just has to hit it they're all sitting there looking at it these brim have got smart, I guess. They know that there's a hook down there. They just know. Oh, he got it. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh, it's actually working. Look at that. Look at that. First cast. First cast. You saw it here, folks. Check this out. Got us a little brimmy brim. Oh no, oh no. I almost dropped him. That was the first cast. Got this guy. He's not huge, but he's a keeper. And we got him with the reel and the rod. So that's pretty awesome. Go ahead, get him back in the water. I've got a little bit more worm left. I really doubt they're gonna eat it like it is, but they might. Who knows? See, this one's the same way where you kind of have to like pull out your line and then like cast it out there. Oh my goodness. That was a bad cast. All right, recast. There we go. Nice little flip on out there. Here they come. Oh my goodness. Did he just smoke me? Literally, he just smoked me so hard. Now I'm stuck on the dock. Goodness gracious, the worm's still on there. So I guess we gotta recast. I do know that they're smoking it. Hardcore. Come on, eat it. Yes, we got another one. Got another one. This is not the big girl at all. This is another small one. My worm's still alive, which is good. Ooh. There we go. Got us a little one. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's different. Did another little homemade reel video, but it's kind of hard to, to go out on the lakes and stuff right now. I actually don't have my boat right now and everything's super muddy because it's been raining and storming and stuff. So I just figured I'd go ahead and uh, do this, see how this 
would turn out and it was kind of fun it really was not intentional i was just going to try to film some sort of video and ended up being this which is pretty cool if you guys haven't go ahead like this video if you enjoyed it leave me a comment down below also if you enjoyed this or if you have any ideas and go ahead and subscribe i'm going to be posting more content like this and also just a lot of bass fishing content live bait stuff so there's going to be all kinds of stuff on the channel so go ahead and subscribe you don't want to miss it i'm trying to hit 10k so help me get to 10k and uh, i really appreciate it i'll see you guys in the next episode in the meantime go catch them